Well, it's nice to be uh, looking into uh, an F3 cockpit again, even though it is minus a few things, but uh, certainly brings back lots of memories. As I, If I just look at the, the front first of all, um, obviously sort of up here we've got uh, various... Uh, we, we would have our head-up display there, which was uh, really important, and that's obviously sort of uh, um, through which we did most of our sort of flying the aircraft. Down here, this is an angle of attack indicator always important G meter um, here this is the TV uh, repeater screen two TVs in the back one TV in the front um, radar homing and warning receiver screen here a missile management system over there all the instruments standard instruments in those days but they all worked pretty well um, down the left hand side we've got throttles the wing sweep uh, um, lever and uh, I recognize the the CSAS, the Control Stability Augmentation System, flight system, it had a magnificent control uh, in the aircraft. It had uh, um, a fly-by-wire system with the sort of uh, four backups and CSAS, and it really worked very well. And I remember that, that side there, throttles I've talked about, flaps, um, undercarriage over there. Down this side, this is the main master warning panel, and uh, these are all, I'm not going to go through them, in, in all of them just by themselves. Suffice to say, engine instruments, engine controls rather, and a number of avionic controls. But it's all coming back, and that's the, the master control panel down the centre. It's got to sort of just pull up the lever, and everything gets switched to on. It was a very nice cockpit in which to work, easy to operate, and once you've found your way around, particularly easy to operate. Very, very comfortable cockpit environment. I loved it in here. You know, we talked about wing street already, but uh, looking at the throttles down there, and um, one, one unique thing that Tornado had were thrust reversers down the back end. So we didn't have a, a tail parachute like the Lightning and the Phantom did. We would uh, slow ourselves down by using thrust reversers like the airliners do. Very efficient system it, 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 uh, it was, although it's a fair old weight penalty down the back end. But if I look at the throttles there, we just used to sort of operate the thrust reversers by rocking the throttles outboard and then moving them forward to sort of uh, increase the power on the thrust reversers. Very simple, very effective system. Uh, this is the, the HOTAS system. It's very much designed like, uh, I remember when we were sort of redesigning this and it came in, it's very much similar to the F-18 uh, cockpit. Um, but basically this gives us um, hands-on throttle and stick. So you could sit here, fly the aircraft and operate all the weapon system from, this, from, the, from the stick here with your hand, other hand on the throttles down there. That's what HOTAS is all about and it was pretty efficient in this aircraft.